what I want to try to do in this video is I, I want to try to um, get a bit deeper into what the Haramar gate really does and whether and, and what would a similar gate look like, but that, you know, a gate that brings us uh, from from certainty towards a co complex, uh, a complex proposition, um, complex uncertainty in this case. Uh, because basically what the Haramar, Haramar gate does, and here's really well written, it maps on to on plus off and off to on minus off. What, what it kind of, what, what, what's kind of surprising to me a little bit is that I think here there's one of my misconceptions that I, I maybe, I maybe should try to solve actually while doing this video, which is, so here I can see that, um, there is the, uh, it says rotates 180 degrees around the X plus Z axis. And then, uh, it says hidden phase 90. And that's what's, that, that's what's extended with the zip gate. It also has a, a hidden face. Why is it called hidden face? So what is it? Cause I always thought, I always thought that the rotations around the Z axis was, so th this was literally mapping to uh, the, the actual face and, and that's it, right? Um, and so when, whenever you're, whenever you're off, whenever you're of the z equals zero. Uh, no, whenever you're off the y equals zero space, then you're phasing. That's always what I thought, but it, it's not. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why I made a mistake uh, using the IBM Q experience and, and trying to use the, the, the rotation z instead of the control, the control, control rotation, uh, Z instead of the control U1, which is the one that I, that was really just applying a phase because the Z gate, it says doesn't affect zero and phases one by minus one. Um, but clearly that's more than just rotating 180 degrees. It, it, it here says hidden phase and I really don't know what it is. Um, so let's see if I can, uh, basically go ahead and say uh, because what the Hadamar gate does right it's it, it, it takes uh, it takes you to to that like sort position and if you're having a one hmm, let me see here if I just uh, stay here and so if you were one it's like so the ampli the the phase here is zero and the phase here is, is 180 degrees. Um, yeah. Because what I find confusing is that often the sign is referred as the phase, but I'm I'm not so sure if it, this is a, something that's true, or you can have a phase 180 and still have a positive value but that's basically what it's what what it's doing and uh, so it's do, it's doing a rotation okay so and um so it takes the one it, has, it takes the one to uh to the minus state and then if you apply another one it goes back to one and when it's a zero, it does the same. Um, what happens when it's, yeah, when it's a plus, it goes back to zero. When it's a minus, it goes back to one. What happens when it's I, it goes to minus I, correct? I think so. Think so. Yeah, and when it's minus i, it goes to i. So the Hadamard would, would really negate that. Okay, interesting. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm this is basically one way that, we, that you basically, you know, kind of generate uncertainty, right? By using the Hadamard gate. But what you're, what you're doing is you're generating, if your seed is, is just uh, on the Z axis, you're generating real uncertainty. In, in, uh, and um, how would a Hadamard look like? So if I, just let me, can I create, make a gate? So if I say X plus Z and I say, I find this really cool that you can actually visualize that here and you can say 180 degrees. And you see it's not like, hmm. what's the difference between that and Hadamard, right? So let's, let's call it like test one. So let's just add, because what this is doing is it also adds a certain phase, right? Station gate. So it takes zero, but look, it takes zero to, it takes zero to plus as well. Yeah. But the phase is minus 90. And if I apply the test again, uh, you see what I mean? It's like, how is that different than, than a Hadamard? And what happens with one, it takes one to minus, but the phase of zero, zero is minus 90. So yeah, in the phase of zero one is plus ninety. Whereas if I use a Hadamard gate, we have a phase of zero and a phase of hundred eighty. But like in the block sphere, it's the same. It's the same spot, right? So you've got x minus 1, r plus 1, then it's 180 degrees, and then that is plus 90. And here, it's absolutely the same. Nevertheless, they've got, they've got different phases. I mean, I mean, the... <sighs> The relative phase seems to still be 180 degrees, right? It's just, it's just when I use the Hadamard, no, that's way, no, 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 yeah, 180 degrees, of course, 180 degrees, of course. So is it, is this, does this mean it just, that, that it doesn't matter? But it should matter, right? Because I can do these different things. I mean, what happens if I apply a test and a, and, and a Hadamard? Oh man, that's confusing. Okay, but the phase is minus 90. Now, where here the phase is zero. So definitely that hidden phase plays, um, plays a role, but I don't really know why or this is kind of, this is one of those areas where I just don't feel really confident yet. Uh, I kind of I can manipulate circuits and, and reason about certain stuff, but but that thing with the phase it just drives me nuts because I I would expect that you see that in the block sphere, but apparently you don't. So so we've got our test gate uh, here. We can call it, that's pretty cool because you can modify the stuff in the URL. <laughs> the H, H test one, I'll call it. So it's kind of our first test to build, build sort of a Hadamard, which is obviously not a Hadamard. Um, if we would do, if we would do that, then this is the same as 
this is the same as the harmonic, harmonic dance too. So this literally has the same same effect as the harmonic. Same effect as the harmonic. Can I do, I'm curious if I can play like this with this tool where it's like, I do this, I put an amplitude display, and then I say, um, destroys the universe, no. Um, can I reset? It keeps off states, this guy retries on states. Doesn't fix your end discards one. Is is this pause selecting? Is it kind of then filtering? Pause selecting. Is, is this filtering and then kind of, yeah, that, that feels like that, right? So now, it kind of resets that. So now I can. Uh, I'm interesting. It's interesting to know why would this? Why is this? Why is this useful at all? can control a post select crazy okay no because I was just like instead of instead of you know okay H test no but it doesn't seem like ah okay yeah sure but I gotta I gotta go back to one and so uh ah, but then I can just post select one correct yeah and then I can apply the H test Two. Oh, something's not correct. Uh, mm. No, I think I'm I'm not using that correctly. I just wanted to see whether I can just you know just for just to keep that um, easy, and so I don't have to keep removing. So I could see. The effects of each gate with of each gate within the same wire. Um, but it, uh, I, I, I don't think that's how it works. Oh, maybe that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. No, of course. Not. Oh, maybe. The puzzle like keeps on stage these cards. Ah, of course, because when I use the post, because when I use the post one, I kind of didn't realize that. Of course, the one states have a negative, have a, like a phase of one hundred eighty degrees, and so actually, that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, and that's why this thing looks like. That's why this thing looks like that instead of like that. So I would kind of have to apply it. Exactly the same gate, and yeah, uh, just whatever. I'll I'll just clean that up. I, I was just curious whether I could use something like that to quickly see the compare the effect of different gates. Kind of, kind of like it. Okay, um, where was I? I kind of feel I'm getting getting lost a little bit right now. Uh, clear circuit. So we've got our H test two, which is basically the same like a Hadamard. Well, I still don't understand what the hidden face thing is, so I have to um kind of go back to the basics, I think, a little bit uh, to fully understand that. Because it seems like the rotation is really also adding a phase. But then this hidden phase is something on top of that. Um, because what I, I, and really what I wanted to do is I wanted to basically, uh, I wanted to build sort of a, I don't know how to call it, not like a Hadamard, because uh, the Hadamard takes you from, zero to the plus state and from one to the minus state. So I wanted to get, I want to build a gate that would take you from zero to the zero to the I state and from one to the minus I state. Um, and kind of, kind of basically inspired by these, which is a rotation around X, the X plus Z. Um, and I would assume that I would need a rotation around the X plus Y and that's, X plus Y axis, and and I would also. Oh. 
not x plus y, but y plus z, sorry, exactly. Um, and I would also then have it 180 degrees. And I don't know if that phase is needed. So, but this is the y mark, I'll call it. Or the h, h, y, like for Haramart, but, but or h, i, the high gain. <laughs> Uh, is this what I is, is this correct? So if I apply the high gate on zero, yeah, it takes me there. But I don't know if that's the face that I want to have or not. I don't know how much how much of a role that plays. I mean, here if I apply two consecutives, it goes back to zero. If I, it's a one, it goes to minus i. Mm. Uh, but th then there's a phase of 180 degrees here and a phase of minus 90 degrees in here. So from that perspective, I don't know. I don't know if this is really what I need. Because what the, the beauty of the Haramart is that it 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 adds a phase. To, the beauty of the Haramart is that it adds a phase of 180 degrees to the one state, right? And and so if I would like the same, what the question is, would I like the same and why? Because at the end of the day, I think the 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 beauty of having that phase being like. 180 degrees is that it allows to play with interference. Whereas if I use this new gate, uh, there's just a there's here there is sort of a uh, I don't know if I'm talk, if I'm using the correct words like a glow there's a relative it's a relative phase of of 90 degrees really or 240 depending on how you look at it and I want to have ideally I would like to have the phase Ideally, I would like to have the, the, the face the same. Would I? I mean, I don't know. So if I go to make a gate and I, and I say it's y plus z, and it's 180. Um, but then I need to correct that. If I put 45 degrees phase, then I'm having. If I put 45 degrees. Then I'm having a uh, 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 uh. No, that's also not correct. That's 240. What am I doing? So see, that's that's if I, just zero, right? If I 90 degrees face. if I rotate only 90 degrees. Okay, but then I then I mess up with the amplitude, so that's not what I want to do. So the angle, okay, so the angle is good because the angle basically makes sure you're not messing up with the amplitudes, okay? So the angle, if you specify rotation from that perspective, the angle makes sure that, yeah. But that, that gives you with, um, that gives you with a certain set of phases. Uh, And 
I I would like to have a also sort of a hundred eighty degree like a like a hundred eighty degrees face as a result, right? Because if I take a look at the Hanamore, that's what it does. Is that it has a Okay, no, I mean, no, it has a hidden phase of 90. But it has a minus there. And so what I would need to do... Is to, but I can't correct that phase because... If, if I'm just doing the X plus Z thing, you've already got that thing where, um, like no matter, so no matter how you set up the phase, it rotates all the phases because that's, okay. Ah. Is it, is it, does this have to do with a global phase in the sense that the angle already specifies you, the angle gives you already a certain phase and, and this is just your, yeah. So you're rotating every single phase. Hmm. Okay, it's not global, it's relative, but I don't really know. I, I feel that, I, I feel really confused right now with this. If it's Y plus Z, right? And you rotate 180 degrees, then you get, by definition, you get, you get that constellation here. And so, no matter how I would rotate that, I would always end up with... I can't... Yeah. Okay, but let's say that I add the same 90 degrees phase that the Haramore does. I don't know why. Height version 2. Oh, HIV, that's, that's the wrong naming. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, version two. So this basically, yeah, okay, but now, yeah, this takes me to minus I. If played it again, it takes me to one. If I, if it's, if it's zero, if it's zero, it goes back to zero, uh, or or I, and if I add Hanamar, interesting. Whereas if I do it this way, that also has the effect of negating. It seems it seems like it would also would this version one do the same as well. Yeah. Uh, hey, but then at that point, I'm confused with. I'm just confused with what's the face in there. What's this hidden face? But basically, basically, so what I've built is a gate that kind of does the same what the Hanumar does, but it takes you into a complex uh, superposition. So it helps you build complex and certainly out of uh, out of that seat. Because if we talk about yeah, that's okay. But what is this hidden face? What is this hidden face? I've been I it's it's really it I have I have come across this before while while 
reading here through like the the tooltips and all that stuff. And I really did a bit of a quick research and I can't I can't just figure it out. Um how this plays how this really plays a role. And it feels pretty stupid. Because in my in the Haramart So in the Haramar test one, where I didn't add that hidden phase, the thing is that it transforms zero into minus and minus. Oh, minus, okay, I, minus plus, where, well, this is this. But it still, but it still takes you into the plus state. Hmm. Because then that confuses me a lot. Because I, I've always thought that the states in the surface of the block sphere were unique, but they're obviously not because. Here you've got a phase of minus 90, minus 90. And obviously the value is different. The value you can see is minus, minus 0.7i and minus 0.7i, right? Whereas if you apply Hadamard, the value is plus 0.7 real and plus 0.7. So this is so. Does this mean that the? Does this mean that the um, points of the block sphere do not represent unique quantum states? Mm. Because I assume the tool talks about when when there's the word phase in the tool, we're talking about relative phase all the time. But maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm. Wrong, but why would it be zero? Yeah. But if you apply a the, the the first and remember the first gate, what I did here, it doesn't have that ninety degrees hidden phase in it. So it basically just rotates, right? And and when doing so, you end up with the same blossy here representation, literally the same, but the amplitude. But the, 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 the state is different because the, the phase is minus 90 and minus 90. And basically the value is different because it's in the complex part. Because when we talk about relative phases, we're talking about relative phases is this the fact that there's the relative phase here is zero? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the thing. So they are literally the same. But then So let me let me just save that for a second on another tab and let me uh, so how can I so maybe maybe if I just clear all and uh, maybe I can take a look at the at the tutorial here uh, whether there's anything here explained about the phase so each amplitude display so the amplitude display is like the chance display except it shows amplitudes instead of Probabilities. It tells you the quantum amplitude. It tells you the quantum amplitude of each computational basis state of the qubits covered by the display. Each square section in an amplitude display represents one of the amplitudes. The radius of radius of the, the radius of the light blue circle is the amplitude's magnitude, and the angle of the black line the indicator is the amplitude's phase. The height of the dark blue filling is the squared magnitude of the amplitude its probability because the global phase okay so because the global because the global phase of a subsystem is not well defined 
Quirk will arbitrarily pick one of the amplitudes to use as a phase reference. But I don't get that fixed always. So Quirk will arbitrarily pick one of the, of the amplitudes to use as a phase reference. This is indicated by the right fixed text. Mm. Finally, because amplitudes are often very small, there's a light gray circle radius which is proportional to the logarithm of the magnitude of the amplitude. When the qubits covered by the display are entangled with qubits not covered by the display, the amplitude display is not able to show phase information because there is no well-defined phase information in the situation. When this occur, occurs, the amplitude display will show red warning text incoherent and not show any phase indicator lines. For convenience reasons, Quirk will also show phase information in amplitude displays that are cover, covering measured qubits. The information is always equivalent to what the state would have been if the measurement were deferred. Okay, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, but why? Uh, block series display, block vector representation. This measure the one of a single queue state. You can view the exact coordinates by hovering. Yeah. But it still doesn't, doesn't. So for example, here, here there's no fixed. So the amplitude displays like the chance display, except it shows amplitudes instead of probabilities. It tells you the quantum amplitude of each computational basis in qubit. Because the global phase of a uh, of a subsystem. Okay, so this fix will only appear. Uh, this fix will only appear when you've got like uh, when you're doing a subsystem, right? So if okay, I think it kind of makes sense. So if I'm just doing something like this and I'm just doing that, then I'll get a fixed. Okay, because then then we're talking about this <clears throat> subsystem. Okay, yeah, 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 that, but still, mm, yeah, but still, it's essentially different. No, here is the same. Ah, phase, phase zero. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. So my, my H test one, right? It doesn't add a hidden phase. Nevertheless, the relative phase, that's weird, minus zero, minus zero degrees. Okay, so now, yeah. So that adds a 180 degrees phase. And if I add a Hadamard gate, it's the same. But here it's a minus 0 0.7 on the real side of the value. And with my H test one, we are at minus 0 0.7 as well. Uh, okay. If I take a look locally, locally, it it seems to make this it it seems to be exactly the same, despite the fact that here I've I haven't added the hidden phase. Uh, whereas if what the, oh sorry, it's because uh, how is this how is uh, how is this affecting the face here? Okay. So uh, now I messed again. Okay. So in here we've got minus minus zero point seven on the real side in the phase of 180 degrees here for the one. 
and here we've got uh, it's the relative phase is still the same, but then we've got like a complex uh, the values on the complex side of things. So it's kind of essentially different, but the plus here is the same, and that's what I what I that's what I what I done. Uh, I definitely need to take a look at this more in detail. So maybe I should. So let me go back here. Let me take this again. I'll just um, because I'm I'm just recording a tab. Uh, playing with the different settings with the screen screencastify. Is there anything about hidden face? Hidden face, no. But is it just then? And why? Why would this ninety? Why would this ninety matter? So why would this ninety matter? Can I not just use this? The relative phase is one hundred eighty degrees, and that that's that's kind of what matters, right? So. Why does the Hadamard have that that phase, that hidden phase of ninety degrees? Hmm. Uh, gate. Inspire. Subcration character. Actually, let me try one thing. If I can, I do this. Can I also create entanglement like that? So I, 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 I do this, and I now do a control nod. Yeah. So it's also a bell state, but the, the each of the phases is like my, minus 90. Whereas if I would use a Hadamard gate, it would be zero. But the relative phase is the same. But if it's so, if it's then this way, why does this matter at all? Why does the Hadamard have that hidden phase? It isn't. Is it just that it just makes the 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 um, state vector easier, or like the 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 yeah the state the state equation easier? Like because it's it's kind of cleaner. You see, like a plus square root of a half, and this is one divided by the square root of two. And then and it's just minus. And is it just statics? Because because my heart and does the same, people. <laughs> it's also a bell state. It's a, but it's a complex bell state. No. <laughs> I just, yeah, I mean, kind of, right? Because really the value is on the complex side, but it's really the same. <laughs> okay. Mm. So. Yeah, I'll have to sleep on this. I have, I, I have, I'll see if I can, because the block sphere, maybe block sphere unique states. Density operators, the block sphere is not only pure states, but mixed states for total systems. So, quantiki. 
So this is because this is the, so this is what I'm kind of thinking that this theta is the angle we're inputting in there. And then this e to the power of i and, and this angle, this is the hidden face. That's my, I think that's my suspicion because I've seen that before. Um, yeah, but then. So the representation is unique, except in the case, this is one of the Kent vectors, zero or one, the parameters uniquely specify a point in the unit sphere of Euclidean space R3, namely the point whose coordinates x, y, z are this. In this representation, zero is not to zero, zero, one, and one is not to zero, zero, minus one. The interior of the blocks here, the open block, ball, ball represents the mixed states of a single qubit. Coordinates of a state represent the expectation values of generalization. No, I don't want to know the generalization. I'm just... I don't understand why... Um, I don't understand why the Hadamard has a... Why, why this hidden phase is relevant in here. Okay. 